Welcome to the Noonday Meditation with Wayne Vernon. Romans chapter 1, 16 and 17. I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. First for the Jews, then for the Gentile. For in the gospel, a righteousness from God is revealed. A righteousness that is by faith from first to last. Just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. In the gospel, a righteousness from God is revealed. In Romans 1, the Apostle Paul proudly celebrates the claims of the gospel he proclaimed. He identifies himself with at least three credentials. A servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, and set apart for the gospel of God. And then he qualifies the gospel he is referring to, this gospel of God that he has been set apart for. And he establishes its authenticity. This gospel of God, he proclaimed, was promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. It is contained in the Holy Scriptures. He, he, Paul's proclamation of God's plan for the salvation of mankind was not a new invention. It was not a new idea. It was not his idea. It was promised and it was prophesied. And it is all of this is found in the Holy Scriptures. The promise fulfillment theme and the prophecy fulfillment theme these are concepts that are very prominent in the scriptures. It is one person has said that the New Testament is in the Old Concealed and the Old Testament is in the New Revealed. A way of expressing the promise and prophecy fulfillment theme that runs throughout the scripture. So, not only was the uh, God's plan for mankind promised, but it was also prophesied. And this information is preserved in the scriptures for our benefit. Loved ones, the gospel you have received, the gospel of God, according to the Holy Scriptures, is grounded in the Missio Dei, the mission of God for the earth. It is not a figment of your imagination or some legend or some story that has been contrived by someone. God promised it to humanity. He kept this hope alive through the years and revealed his will through progressive revelation to us through his prophets. Throughout the years, God progressively revealed. The challenge is that sometimes, and we get caught up in it too, when God revealed to his servants in the past, there were persons like the Jews who got caught up and stuck in time and would not receive God's progressive revelation. I pray that as we read the scriptures, we will not get stuck in the in parts of the scripture, but we will embrace the whole counsel of God as it is progressively revealed in his word. I pray that today you will be confident in this full and free salvation. I pray that you will recognize and we all will recognize today that this plan of God, this gospel of God, is all we need to establish and to experience right relationship with God. So therefore, what I would encourage us to do is to ask God to help us to embrace the gospel of God today. Embrace the gospel of God.
which is contained in Scripture, a full and free salvation, the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. May we embrace it today and live for God by the power of His Holy Spirit. Should you need further instructions in these matters, please feel free to text the number 647-696-0422. And if you desire to surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, please text the word salvation to this number as well. Someone is standing by to support you right now. If you have not yet secured your copy of my book, Six Practices of Effective Leadership, today is your day to do so. You could get your copy on Amazon and the link is conveniently provided for you in the description below. If you're in Ontario, you could pick up your copy at the West Toronto Church of God at 1655 Wilson Avenue in North York. And if you're in Jamaica, you could pick up your copy at the, the Montego Bay, Mandeville, Waltham Park, Sterling Castle, New Testament Churches of God, or at the bookshop of the head office of the New Testament Church of God located in Roden Spen, Old Harbor. We would love to hear from you today how core leadership services may journey with you in your church or local organization to raise up leaders for greater and for future leadership responsibilities. It has been an absolute pleasure journeying with some churches and some corporate organizations over the recent months. And we look forward to hearing from you because we would love to partner with you. So drop us a line today and we'd be delighted to be a partner with you. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Thank you for listening to the Noonday Meditation with Pastor Wayne Vernon. Please forward this study to your friends, your relatives, associates, neighbors, and all those persons in your social network. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to communicate with us and we will commit to supporting you in prayer. Until we meet again tomorrow, Shalom.